Our topic is about simultaneous linear equations using our recommended calculator Casio FX 570S Plus. But let's have an overview. Umuna. Linear equations are the equations in which highest power of the variable is 1. So yung equations po na walang exponent, yun po ang linear equations. Di ba po ang ating quadratic equation ay ang highest exponent is 2. Ang linear equation naman po ay wala po exponent. At ang graph po nito ay straight line. Simultaneous linear equations are the system of two linear equations in two or three variables that are solved together to find a common solution. So our main task is to solve for the common solution. Okay, pop. So let's have the standard form of linear equation in two variables x and y. So a1x plus b1y is equal to c1. a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 or c sub 2. a1 and a2 is the coefficient of x. A b1 and b2 or b sub 2 coefficient of y. c sub 1 and c sub 2 is the constants or are the constants. So dito po, itong a, b, at c i numbers. So, ang um, letters lang po talaga ay ang x and y na tinatawag natin variables. Please also note that constants must be written after the equal sign. In solving the common solution of simultaneous linear equations, we have three methods. Substitution, elimination, and graphical method. So, unayin ko natin sa substitution. Paano po ba ito ginagawa? So, equation 1, equation 2. So, from the word substitute, magsasubstitute po tayo. So, let's say this equation 1, or kahit alin naman po sa dalawa, it's up to you kung alin ang prefer ninyo. Pwede din naman pong gawin 2y. But gagawin po natin siyang 3x is equal to 2 plus 2y. Then x is equal to 2 plus 2y all over 3. Na ito pong x na ito ay isa-substitute po natin sa x na ito ng equation 2. Therefore, 7 times 2 plus 2y all over 3 plus 3y is equal to 43. As we notice, isa na lang po ang ating variable. Therefore, masasolve na po natin si y which is equal to 5. Then, we have now y is equal to 5 going back to equation 1 and using y is equal to 5 substitute po natin dito, x is equal to 4. Mabilisan lang po kasi Caltech naman po talaga ang ating gagawin. So, the... the common solution for 5. Diba ito po yung point, ganito po natin sinusulat, x, x coordinate, comma, then y coordinate, which is 5. The substitution, pipili lang kung alin sa isa, isa lang po, ah, bawal po ang pinagsasabal. Charat. So, isa lang, then it's your preference kung anong variable ang gusto nyo pong gawin muna, tas isa substitute sa isa. So, yun po ang substitution. Sa elimination, from the word eliminate, meron po tayong tatanggalin. So, the given, we have two, e two equations. Ang i-consider po natin ay yung coefficient na ating variable. Then, kailangan po magpareho sila para ma-eliminate po ang isa sa kanila. So, dito po, one half, yung coefficient ni x, 1 naman po dito. So, paano po sila magpapareho? Pwede po natin itong i-times sa 2 or ito ay i-times sa 1 half para magpareho doon. The same with this one, 2 thirds and 1 third. So, times 2 para magpareho dito. So, pwede na kanyang discard eh. Pero ngayon po, doon tayo sa medyo mas mahirap. 1 half. 
pwede namang to doon, pero one half po yung ating gagawin. So, x over 2, y over 6 times one half. Yung buong equation po ang ito times yung one half. Then, 3 over 2. Bakit po yung buong equation? Para, the same pa rin pong equation yan. Kapag any any number, any value na tinimes po natin sa buong equation, will result to equal equation pa rin. So, copy natin dito. Pareho na po yung ating first variable. X over 2. So, pwede na po natin siyang ma-eliminate. Anong operation po? Subtraction. So, kapag subtraction po, magpapalit po yung signs ng ating subtrahen. So, ayan. Magpapalit po sila ng signs. Then, magpuproceed po tayo sa addition. So, one half plus negative one half. Oh, nauna na siya. One half plus negative one half is equal to zero. So, cancel. Pasensya na po, nauna na ang ating slides. So, 2 thirds plus 1 over 6 is equal to 5. 6 y, then negative, negative, negative 5 halves. So, y is equal to 3. And just like po kanina sa substitution, isa substitute po natin ito sa isa pang equation, sa other equation. So, let's use x minus y over 3 is equal to 3. Then, using negative 3 for y, x is equal to 2. So, the common solution to x equals 2, y is equal to negative 3. So, elimination, may tatanggalin po. And the graphical, magpa-plot po tayo ng graph ng ating equation. So, ito ay straight line daw po kapag linear. So, ayan. So, paano po natin ito gagawin? Uh, Mag-establish po muna tayo ng dalawang points para makagawa po tayo ng line. So, here, when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 60. Therefore, 60, 0. 60, 60 units to the right and along x-axis since y is equal to 0. So, ito po yun na point na yun. And when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So, 0, 60, 0, then 60 units upward. So, here, connecting the two points, we have now the line x plus y equals 60 in green. The same po kay x minus y is equal to 2. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So, 2, 0, 2 units to the right along x-axis since y is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2. So, from the origin, move 2 units down since negative 2. So, this these are the points connecting these two points. Ito na pong line, ang ating x minus y equals 2 in red. Oh, what's this? 31, 29, it is the point of intersection. Ito po yung kanilang tagpuan. So, ito po yung ating common solution 31 29 31 29 so all along pala ang sinusolve po natin common solution is the point of intersection of the given linear equations okay so yun po kaya common yun po yung kanilang pinagtatagpuan doon po sila nag met nag intersect so Common solution, point of intersection. Di ba yan po ang ginagawa natin kapag nagsasolve po tayo ng limits ng area bounded by the curves? The point of intersection of the two given equations. Yun nga lang, curves. So, that's the three methods. The substitution, elimination, and graphical method. And dito po yung tatlo at isasolve po natin siya using calculator technique. So, paano po? Mode 5, x, y, and constant. Diba kaya sinabi po na kailangan nasa after po ng equal sign. So, 1. A, B, C. Ito din po yung kanina, yung coefficient and constant. So, the coefficient of x is 3. 
Ayan. Sabi naman, yung coefficient ni y yung ilalagay natin, which is negative 2 for the first equation, and the constant, which is 2. For the next, 7 naman, and 3, then 43. Kasi, after naman po ng equal sign ang ating constants. So, para ma-enter po pala, ang data equal sign lang. Equal sign ulit, 4 ang x, 5 ang y. So, there, kaya high. The second one, the coefficient of x is 0.5. Then, 2 thirds for our y. Negative 1 for our constant. And, equal sign, 1, negative 1 third, and 3. Kailangan ma-double check din ko natin yung ini-input natin. So, 2, negative 3, and yes, correct. And then, the last, 1 ang ating x, 1 ang ating y, and 60 po ang ating constant. 1, negative 1, and 2. 31 and 29. So, we're good. And let's solve the other one. The other problem. So, we have 2 here. So, that's the same again. Mode 5, 1 for 2 variables. 2, 3. And then, negative 2 for constant. 5, 4, and oops. Diba dapat po ay nasa kabila po ito. Kaya magigipong negative 2. Yan. Careful po tayo. So, the answer is 2 over 7 and negative 6 over 7 as for our point of intersection of the two given linear equation. But wait, paano po kapag tatlo na? So, here, 3 variables. A1, A sub 1x plus B sub 1y plus C sub 1z is equal to D1. So, nakadina po ang ating constants at ang C po natin ay coefficient na po ni Z. Ayan. Alas pareho lang po kanina, nalagdagan lang siya. So, practice. Paano na po siya sa calculator? Kasi yung kanina ay dalawa lang, di ba? Dalawa, A and B. For X and Y, coefficient. So, mode 5 for equation hahanapin po natin ang may x, y, and z, which is 2. After ulit, after po ulit ng equal sign ang ating constant. So, ayun. Lagi po natin yung tatandaan. So, number 2, number 2 din po. Input lang po ulit natin ang coefficients. 2, coefficient po ni z ay negative 1. At ang kanyang constant ay 11. 2, negative 3, 1, and again, 7. Kasi dapat, after po ng equal sign. 5, 1, negative 2, and 12. Okay, equal sign, equal sign. 4, 2, 5. So, the point of intersection, 4, 2, and 5. So, that's, that's it. Thank you so much.